Hello strangers, it's a day! That is Friday! Three weeks, three videos, and I'm already repeating shirts. Hold on. That's better, I feel much less nerdy now. I am very, very tired in my brain because we had something called an SOL for half the day. So today is a day that I have been waiting for all week. I am so excited! It is time to talk about books! Yay! So when I talk about favorite books, I like to break it down into two general categories. Series and single books. Now obviously, I usually forget this one because it's sort of a given. These are my three all-time favorite book series. It's Harry Potter, which live there on my shelf. Pendragons, which live here on my shelf. And then there's the Leviathan series, which live here on my shelf, on my desk. Now those are my three favorites just over the years. I read Pendragon about um, sixth grade. I read Harry Potter in the fourth grade. If you're wondering, Harry Potter is by J.K. Rowling. You probably already knew that. Pendragon is by D.J. McHale, which, fun fact, the town that the um, town in the book is based on is where my grandpa grew up. And the Life series is by Scott Westerfeld. I highly recommend it if you haven't read the two that you probably haven't already read, Sarah. Oh, another one of my favorite series. I have there, I have the entire magic series except for Siren. The book I most recently finished reading was... Speaker for the Dead by Orson Scott Card. Um, if you have not read Ender's Game, which is the one before this, this is the series. You can just pause right there and see those. Um, it is kind of slow, but it is so worth it. And even if you don't like science fiction, it's not just science fiction. There's politics, and in this one there's romance and complications and family issues and holy crap like this book it was building up to one event while the other one you don't even know what the climax is supposed to be and then when you get there it's like whoa mm, mm, oh that didn't sound right oh oops mm. and it's not a ghost book despite the dead part it's not at all, like, at all. Um, Sarah, you said that you like the futuristic, dystopian, whatever. Um, this is what that is. I mean, it, it starts in the future, but that book is 3,000 years into that future, and it's like, whoa, so much future! My favorite single books, I can't really single out. <laughs> eh. But, um, I just wanted to mention a few ones that had, um, a really high impact onto me. And probably any single Scott Westfeld book, particularly So Yesterday. If you had not, if, if you have not read anything of Scott Westfeld's, what are you doing? Or futuristic worlds, uglies. Um, if you like that steampunk weird history mixing parallel universe sort of stuff Leviathan and it's and if you like vampires and science then you'll like Pete patient calm your beans Cal calm them calm your beans Jesus a few of my favorite single books so yesterday by Scott Westerfeld Anything by John Green. One that I got when my teacher was giving away books in sixth grade. She gave me a really good book. As far as I know, it's not a very well-known book, but The Star Place by Vicki Grove. I don't like historical fiction, and this is pretty much what this is, historical fiction. It's got a little bit of, like, mystery stuff woven into there. Here are the covers, because I didn't show them to you. Another one for you, Sarah. We have similar taste in books. I found this in my car once, and I have no idea whose it was, but I read it. 
in like two hours and I kept it. Bones of Fairy by Janny Lee Simner. But it's got fairies. It's got like ghosts and magic and the future. If you haven't read any John Green, I don't know why you're on Strangers ROS. I Raquel, don't kill me, but Looking for Alaska is my favorite John Green book. Not the Faults in Our Stars. This, don't hate me, don't hate me, but I did not cry during the fault, but I did not cry reading the Faults in Our Stars. I didn't. I'm sorry. I feel like a terrible person. If you like mysteries and kidnapped kids and such stuff like that, you'll like Carolyn B. Cootie. Um, they never came back. Um, it's a quick read, and it's good. I also highly recommend the Face on the Milk Carton series, which she also wrote. Also, if you have, if you weren't forced to, I actually do recommend To Kill a Mocking. It has come down to it, my three favorite authors. In this order, from three to one. Number three, John Green. Number two, Scott Westfield. And number one, a given, J.K. Rowling. So, even though you probably know two out of three, if not three out of three of those, and I've read them, you need to, um... Uh... Oliver, I will see you on the weekend. I THINK I HEARD IT! Oh, I facepalm myself. I smell like sweat. <laughs>